So I think there are three main themes that really pervade the course that we've seen over and over again, but I haven't mentioned them explicitly until now. And these are themes that aren't just pervasive throughout this course, but are pervasive throughout all computer science. The first one is abstraction, and abstraction is all about hiding details. The point of abstraction is to make it so you can have one thing that is used in many different ways, and you can use it without necessarily understanding all the details behind it. And we've seen lots and lots of examples of abstraction in this class. The most important one is procedural abstraction. We can write one procedure, use it to do lots of different things depending on the, what the inputs are, and when we use that procedure, we don't need to know exactly what sequence of instructions we'll execute. What we know is what the procedure does. The second main theme is universality. And we talked about this early in the class about how computers are universal machines. I want to show you how much better I've got at drawing. If you thought my drawing of a toaster in unit one was not recognizable, I hope you can see how much better I can do now. This is a toaster. And a toaster is very different from a computer. A computer is a universal machine. And we've seen lots of examples of how a computer is universal, that we only need a few simple constructs to be able to define every possible program. We saw that if we had a way to make decisions, and we saw we have that with if in Python, we saw that if we have a way to keep track of things, and in Python we can do that using variables and data, and if we have a way to keep going. And we first saw that using while, with a while loop, we can make something keep going as long as we want. But in fact, we don't even need while. We could do that with procedures. And that's what we saw with recursive definitions in unit six. And once we have those three things, well, we can write any computer programmer. So we have much more power with a computer than we do with a toaster. The final major theme I want to summarize as our third main theme is one we've already mentioned here. It's recursive definitions. And we introduced those explicitly in unit six, but you saw them many times before that. The first time you saw them was actually in unit one. We saw these rules that said we can make an expression by taking another expression using the plus operator and combining it with another expression. And that was not enough by itself for a recursive definition. We also needed a base case. And we saw a base case like we can have an expression that's a number. So the big idea here is that with very simple rules, we can define infinitely many things and very complex things by using rules that define things in terms of simpler versions of themselves.